Robert Bow. Good time. I'm updating. I've been. I've had these Dokia 300 watt solar panels for, uh, oh God, almost uh, some months now, and I'm using them in different situations. Before I uploaded a review of the Dokia 300 watt solar panel kit, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. We've been out of power here in uh, at the Lincoln Rock State Park for a day. Batteries and uh, had some issues yesterday so I'm going to use the solar panels to update the battery on the house battery here in the old uh, Hornet. So let's go ahead and pull them out and show you guys uh, what it takes and what we got to do. Obviously it's not bad for my situation here. I have uh, my panel sitting behind my, my uh, bed here. Boom! There you go. Very cool. Tokia 300 watt solar panels. Sitting right there. I got the. Uh, uh, you basically just go right behind my couch, fit perfectly. And I grab the uh, bag of goodies that come with it, which is the uh, charge controller and the cables. So I got the charge uh, controller. It's a 12 volt battery controller only. And obviously, you plug the battery right into there. And the XT60 cables get plugged right into the JY60. You have the uh, solar panels, 300 watt solar panel. I'm going to plug right into there. The battery I'm going to plug this right into there. The XT60 cable right there. And this is called a JY60, which is the female end. Those are all the female ends there in the XT60s get plugged right into that and that's basically what I have on the pa on the cable going into the battery and on the cable coming from the panels now this comes with the bat with the package this comes with the package this came with the package these are all bolt but bolt, bolt bolt butt connectors you know what those are and this is for the lights or whatever you want to plug into that uh appliance area. I bought some extra polarity plugs right here. One, And then I bought this extra 25 foot uh, SAE converter cable. Connector cable, I'm sorry. And that's so that if you're further away and you want to plug in those, those uh, solar the panels. battery condition is a little bit less than three quarters all the way to the right there. So let's uh, check that out. simple guys Boom. Boom. take me back to my room now one thing about these panels Easy guys, got the panels out, 300 watt of Kia solar panels, pulled them out from the back of my couch, takes about three minutes to set them up, I got the sun up behind me, I don't want to show the camera there obviously, and I uh, got the sun pretty good in there, I could probably fold them a little, uh, bring them down a little bit more once I hook them up, let's go ahead and uh, let's get the battery hooked up and get the cables hooked up. Okay, so there's your Dokia's charge controller. Everybody's familiar pretty much with those. Another one, it is not the best charge controller out there. And then you have the XT60 connector that basically goes into the picture of the battery. XT60 plugged into the battery portion. And on the other end, these cables come with it. Now, this cable right here, I had to make this adapter myself because normally this cable right here comes with the battery positive negative cable and I cut that put an SAE connector 
I've been an adapter they call a polarization adapter and that's because I have an SAE connector right here connected directly into my house battery so I just take this plug right here let's see you should be able to plug this baby right in there see this right here I plugged in pretty cool all set and I'm gonna go ahead and clean these uh, connectors up I'm gonna solder them together instead of those connectors but right now I just had it connected just so I can make sure that this would work and as you can see the battery is at 12.6 volts right now and the battery is connected and remember when you're cooking up these uh, Dokia panels here you always hook up the battery first before you hook up the solar panels so let's get the solar panel cables here obviously two connections you have the SAE connector that goes directly down there into that panel you got your SAE connector here and the SAE connector there one thing I don't like is this connector right here I don't know if you guys can see it from here this connector is not that tight and it kind of goes loose so I need to I'm gonna put some tape electrical tape on that so I'll go ahead. right here this SAE connector you can just see it coming loose already they're not very tight so you got these two SAE connectors got to keep them make sure that they got they're together properly because otherwise they come loose you can see them see it coming loose right now I'm gonna have to uh, put some uh, electrical tape on that just to keep them going let's see if we can get this connector right here this other it's another obviously XT60 connector goes into the solar panel right there uh, this is 13.7 volts see so going from the solar panel to the battery you got 14 volts 13 wow 14 volts 14.1 everything's connected the panels are connected Took me about five minutes to connect everything. I mean, it's not a big deal. Just make sure that you got all your connections properly. Two XT60 connectors going all the way over here to the six foot cable that plugs into the panels. And the sun is right up there, so I might be able to bring this down a little bit. But I think it's getting enough juice, anyways. The battery is charged really well. It's hot as hell, so, or hot as heck, I should say. 15.8. 15.4 volts manual that's the whole manual <laughs> yeah that's it so you got the 12 you got the display voltage coming in the charging amperage display is all I'm worried about and then the charging uh, voltage display when the battery is charged it's been a couple so, of hours this thing was down to half so let's see what we got here wow it's fully charged this thing this panels are awesome the sun is obviously it's like 100 degrees out so you see the right where it says battery condition that thing's fully charged and these panels really do good i'm not too happy about the controller because it's not it doesn't seem to switch back and forth properly i don't know if it's me any comments please leave me some comments what you think about it and then uh any ideas but i got it connected properly i connected the SAE connector to my house battery which is right there to the battery portion of the, the uh, charge controller and then the antenna or the sorry the solar panel connected there all the way over here to that SAE connector right there and like I said that connector has been kind of loose you always want to make sure that connector is totally tight and these panels are directly in the sunlight now, I mean, those are directly in the sun. Now, you guys tell me with your comments. If you think that they're bent like that, that doesn't get 100% of the energy from the sun. Let Barbara me know. Barbara Bell, Dokia, 300 watts solar panels. Working good on the old uh, Damon Hornet here. The sun is out. It's about 100 degrees. The power in the uh, hookup here at the park has been out for a couple of days. It's been kind of uh, crazy. So I've been charging the house battery with the solar panels themselves but you know i could probably go and let that battery down 
charged for a couple of days, but I was just wanted to double check on the panels again because, like I said, I've used them a couple of times. Both times they work properly. Uh, got the connection all set up in the side of the motorhome right there. As a matter of fact, I have I'll, I like I said about this uh, this charge controller. Not too uh, not too happy about the old charge controller there, but what can you do? That's what it comes with. As long as it's charging the motorhome, that's all that matters. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. And if you want to see me review any other items, I got a couple of things that I just got in the mail that I'm going to go ahead and review and get up to you guys. But like I said, thanks for watching, subscribing, and liking. And uh, Dokia.